everybody. Hopefully this is working. Um, I just went live over on Instagram a second ago and I was sideways the whole time because I didn't know what I was doing. Um, so here I am on Facebook. At least I think I know what I'm doing over here. So um, welcome everybody. Anybody who pops on, uh, leave me a comment or give me a, a thumbs up. Let me know that you're here. Um, so I hope you guys are doing really well. It is super frigid here in Denver today. Um, I was outside earlier running some errands and um, whew, boy, it was cold. So hope you guys are staying warm wherever you're at. Um, so uh, for those of you who are new to this page, uh, we've had some new uh, people join us recently um, or may not know who I am. My name is Jessica Espinoza and I am a heart-centered, anti-diet, health at every size, nutritional therapist, and mind-body nutrition coach. And I really focus on helping women uh, make peace with food and body and really get grounded and centered around their health so they can make super empowered decisions um, concerning their health and not feel really stuck around food and body. So that's what I'm super passionate about. Um, so if you guys have been following me on Facebook or Instagram, you guys have probably seen me mention my Heart Centered Healing Journal, which is my very first print book that I am self-publishing. So, um, whew, boy, that was a, a journey in and of itself, still kind of is. Um, but we are drawing close to the end. I just got my sample copy last week, um, I think on Friday. Um, I was going to get on here and do a Facebook Live sooner, but ran out of time. So here I am today because I want to show you guys a sample. Here it is. Yay! <laughs> I'm so, super excited about it. Um, okay, so um, this Heart Centered Healing Journal uh, came out of my love-hate relationship with journaling. Um, so for many, many, many years, um, even send me back to when I was a kid, I really wanted to journal. I had friends who loved journaling. They journaled all the time, um, but I could just never stick with it for whatever reason. So, um, you know, as I got older and I, as I started going through my own healing journey, I had multiple practitioners who were saying, you know, Jessica, you really should journal. Um, it's going to be super beneficial. You'll probably have some pretty interesting revelations about your health. You'll start making some connections and it's just kind of nice to document you know, where you're at now. So you can kind of look back on it because we often forget how far we've come from where we first started on whatever journey it is that we are um, embarking on. So I really wanted to do this whole journaling thing, but I just could not bring myself to do it for some reason. I would buy all these different types of journals. I bought, you know, the really cheap journals and I bought some really expensive journals and I just couldn't figure out what was going on. So um, several years ago, I actually, I found this old notebook, so it didn't have this cover on it, but this is one of my favorite quotes. Um, you can't live a positive life with a negative mind. So this was an old blank notebook left over from um, my art school days many, many, many moons ago. Um, and so I found it in the basement in a tub and I was like, and it was brand new, hadn't even used at all. Um, you know, I paid big bucks for art school back in the day, so I figured I might as well put it to use. So I just started carrying this with me everywhere I went. It just, it fit in my purse. Um, and so I just started kind of writing in it and I wouldn't like stick to just trying to fill up all of these page blank pages with words because sometimes I didn't have things that I wanted to necessarily write about. Like I kind of felt like journaling had to be this huge, like big epiphany thing. Like I have these huge revelations and I need to document them. And truly like journaling is just kind of a form of self-expression, just capturing where you are from day to day. And some days you're not going to have a whole lot to say. Um, so I would just start writing stuff down. I'll kind of flip through it so you guys can maybe see it. So I've still got some blank pages. Um, so I would flip through it. I would literally put everything in this journal, whether it was personal or business or my to-do lists or my grocery lists, whatever it was, it just went in here or even little doodles. Sometimes I would just get out my colored pens and I would just doodle in there. Um, my favorite place to go would be the park. I would just sit there and sometimes I would just doodle on the pages or I would just, you know, draw shapes and um, sometimes I'd write down words over and over again that really resonated with me. So it really just became kind of like my all encompassing notebook. So, um, you know, you can see like I made some little charts here. Um, 
this was when I was going through a period of time where I was having a hard time focusing on things. So I literally spent time in the park just writing the word focus over and over and over again. Um, I would listen to podcasts and make notes. Like I remember specifically listening to uh, James Wedmore podcast on the, I think this is the Meyer Briggs personality types. And so he was kind of going through it. So I remember writing down notes and making little drawings as I was um, listening to him. So this little book um, is really what started my desire to create kind of a new style of journal. Um, and so this is where my Heart Centered Healing Journal has come from. So um, my Heart Centered Healing Journal, I call it a journal for the non-journaler um, because we have a bunch of different stuff in here. It's kind of an activity book. There's plenty of pages to write, um, but there's some motivational quotes. There's some really cool illustrations that you can color. So coloring pages. And then I also include a full page of journaling um, prompts in the back because nothing is more frustrating than pulling out your journal and saying, okay, I do want to write tonight, but I don't know what to write about. So um, I have some uh, whole page in the very back of the book that you can pull from. So if you're feeling stuck and you don't know what to write, you just flip to the back and you grab one of those questions and you write about it. Um, so there's uh, there's the cover. I'm going to see how well I can like manage to flip through this book. Um, here's kind of like the little table of contents. Uh, we have really whimsical, cute little drawings. We have beautiful watercolor illustrations for the motivational quotes. I picked, I picked a, like about 12 motivational quotes that were really powerful to me when I was going through this kind of transformation in my life. Um, if you've read either one of my blogs, you've probably read a little bit about my story. Um, about one day I just like, I got really fed up with where I was in life. I was miserable. I was depressed. I had no joy. I had no passion. I had no focus. I had no, um, I really didn't feel like I was living a purpose. And so um, there was a ton of quotes that kind of came into my life around that time. So I included those in here because they were really powerful during my healing journey. And I'm hoping that they're powerful for the users of this journal. Um, so we have a little bit about my story. And um, so in the front, there's actually about 20 pages of informational content. And I did that for a specific reason. So um, sometimes if you're like me, I like to I like to know why I should do something. So, OK, yeah, journaling is awesome. But why should I do it? So I actually went through and I looked up some of the science behind journaling. I also included some science behind meditation and regular gratitude practice. Because you will see um, scattered throughout this book, I'll have pages just asking you, what are you grateful for today? Um, and there's actual science behind all three of these things. And I felt that it was really important to put that stuff into this book so that you guys know, like, this is why I'm doing this. And this is the impacts that it could have on my mental, my emotional and my physical health, which I think is really cool. So we have about 20, 23 pages maybe of text in the very front of the book. And we've got these really pretty little illustrations, whimsical illustrations. Um, I just, I really love it. Like I just, I don't know, it makes me so happy. Um, so lots of content, lots of stuff to kind of help you get going. And then here's a sample of um, one of our watercolor illustrations that we have. So don't build a life based on expectations, build a life based on appreciation. So that's one thing that I really have been striving to do for the last few years. Um, so we have lots of blank pages um, to write in for those that want to write. Um, and again, use the journaling prompts in the back. And we also have some blank pages here with these prompts up at the top. So with questions or with things that kind of will um, encourage you to dig a little bit deeper and to maybe think outside the box, to think about the future, to think about the past. Um, so I've included these prompts in here because, you know, nothing is more annoying than having this blank no notebook and not knowing what to write about. So tons of prompts. So you guys, when you get this book, you're going to be able to start writing about anything and everything that you want. And then if you get stuck, I'm there to help get you unstuck. Um, we also have coloring pages in here. So we have a bunch of custom illustrations um, that you can color. So pull out your colored pens or your markers or your colored pencils and start coloring because that's one thing that I did a lot in my journal. Like I said, I would doodle, I would pull out my colored pens, I'd do little illustrations of trees and all sorts of funky colors because that's just what felt 
good that day. That's what my soul needed as I was sitting in the park. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So here's an example of a couple of the blank pages. So um, today I am grateful for, so here you can just do a, a brain dump um, of everything that you're grateful for that day. And this is really important because we want to cultivate that gratitude. It really has powerful um, impact on our mental, physical, and emotional health when we, when we practice gratitude. Um, and then this is just one of the blank pages. So fill this page with anything your heart desires. So if you want to doodle, if you want to sketch something, if you want to write a bunch of words over and over again, if you want to write one word like I did on the one I showed you a little bit ago with the word focus, you could write one word over and over again. Sky's the limit. Do whatever you want to do on that one. Um, and so, and then we just have some more journal pages. So everything's kind of scattered around. You've got some motivational quotes. You've got some blank pages. You've got some prompts. Um, you've got some coloring pages. Here's another example. I have this, let me see if I can find it. It's one of my favorite illustrations. Um, yes, this one. Uh, this is probably my favorite illustration in the entire book. Stars can't shine without darkness. So sometimes life feels a little dark. Um, but just remember that stars can't shine without darkness. So if you're feeling dark in your life, if you feel like things are just ugh, not going that well, there's something greater. There's some reason that things are not going that great for you right there. So, um, so yeah, that's kind of a little flip through of that. And then, like I said, um, in the very back of the book, we have a whole page of journaling prompts and you're actually going to be getting some bonus journaling prompts. I'll tell you about that in a second. Um, and then we have just a little bit of information, further reading and resources. We have all my notes and references from the scientific stuff that I read and shared in the book um, about me and then my acknowledgments um, for friends and family. And then let me flip this back around and then we have the back cover here with um, some of the endorsements that I got from some of my um, fellow uh, friends and colleagues and practitioners who kind of fell in love with the journal as well. So super excited. So um, this was a sample copy. Everything looked amazing. So um, on Friday, I actually gave my printer the go ahead. So the printer is in the process of printing up my full run of this book, which is crazy exciting and a little bit scary at the same time because in about uh, four to six weeks, probably, I will have 500 of these <laughs> landing in my living room. So super excited to bring, I don't think I mentioned this, I think I mentioned it on Instagram. Um, this journal has been in the works for a little bit over two years. So I've been using this old school style of journal um, for three or four years maybe. And so about a couple years ago, I was like, well, I can't be the only one in the world that has problems with journaling. So that's when kind of this idea started cultivating and being brewed. And then this year was the year that we brought it to fruition. So I'm super excited. My very first print book, my name on the cover. Um, I don't know. It's just super exciting. Um, so anyways, uh, as soon as I have a um, official date for when I will be receiving all of the books, we are going to launch our... Um, pre-sale uh, events. So we're going to have a bunch of fun stuff for you. There's going to be a bunch of bonuses um, and all sorts of goodies if you pre-order the book. So more details to come about come regarding that soon. I'm kind of waiting for my printer to give me the a little bit more of a solid idea of when I'm going to get the books because I don't want to delay it too long from you guys ordering it and then you getting it in your hands. So stay tuned. Um, for that, I will be sharing more details on my blogs and also on Facebook Live and social media so you can find me anywhere. Um, yeah, so um, if you want more information about me or anything else, um, the book or all that, you can go to deliciousobsessions.com or jessicaespinoza.com. Those are my two sites that I write. Um, or just stay tuned on social media. So that's it for today. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in um, and helping me celebrate this. I'm super excited and I cannot wait to share it with you. I can't wait to get this in your guys' hands. So anyways, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, great rest of your week, um, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye, everybody.